here we are, uh, ACP 12 Public Art is being installed. Uh, there's some traffic noise, and we're here with Karen Brumman, the artist this year for the project. Karen, how are things going? They're going great. So, so where are we in the process here? We're still at the very beginning. So we have done almost 40 columns uh -huh. of 170. Okay. And so it's going to be 20 rows by 170 columns. And the it's image... 3,400 sheets. And those 3,000 sheets make up an overall image of what? So the house is Sarah Huff's house, and she lived here, and she was nine years old when Sherman marched. The house was built in 1855 over kind of a log cabin that had been there. Um, and then she moved back after the Civil War to the same house. It wasn't burned, and lived there until about 1954, mm -hmm. when this house was sold um, and torn down. At the time, an Atlanta Journal-Constitution article reports it was the second oldest home in Atlanta in 1954. And they just bulldozed it. There were efforts to, <laughs> <laughs> there are reported efforts to save it, but it was bulldozed and a toy factory was built. So it's interesting, Atlanta is such a city about making and remaking and then remaking the remaking, and here we are with a, a remake of, of an existing structure that's long gone. So, right. And this building was built about 1950. Her house was actually across the street, but her family owned all of this property. Wow. So this was one of the highest points. And they had their farm here mm -hmm. and um, at, sold off different parts right there when Atlanta was, you know, it was a railroad. We were moving on. It was a new identity. And um, the industries that came along with the railroad started to buy up these pieces of land and build small warehouses like this. So Karen, you were born in Atlanta and you live in New York now. What's it like to kind of come back to your home city and create a new project? It's actually, it's really sort of special. I know that sound, maybe sounds a little quaint, but um, it's exciting to come back. It's also nerve-wracking thinking that all these people who know that you're traveling and you're making work in these different places and supposedly it's interesting and supposedly it's great. Now these longtime family friends get to come and see and kind of decide for themselves. So that's that's special. It's interesting, um, but it's also a challenge. Right. Um, and uh, but it's fun to do research about your own town. Like growing up here in school I didn't research Sarah Huff or read her biography or um, really know how Atlanta was developed so that's been valuable for me. Excellent well we're excited to have you involved and excited to watch the progress as this guy climbs down the scaffolding and uh, the project will be on view starting tomorrow Saturday at 6, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Okay thanks Karen. Thank you.